presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to use the Yolo Box Pro with ProPresenter 7. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like an all-in-one video switcher, live streaming encoder, keyer, etc., then give me a thumbs up and I'll tell you all about it. So the Yellow Box Pro is a great piece of gear. It can do basically four things and it does it really well. It's not perfect, there are limitations, but one of the things that it can do is it can switch between sources, it can encode, it can record, and it can key. And that's what I'm gonna talk about a little bit today. I'll touch on some of the other stuff, but in general, that's what it can do. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what it can do. So here we are in ProPresenter and the first thing we need to do is set up ProPresenter for chroma key. So I'm going to go into screens and then configure screens and the audience output is the one that I'm dealing with right now. So I, I want to make the background a nice chroma key green. So you'll see in the upper right hand corner, right where my mouse is, actually let me go ahead and put my camera on, uh, that it is that chroma key green. So what I did was I just clicked on this here and actually I have my color picker on the other screen let me drag that over real quick okay so I chose to pick um, a color I could have done it like you know with this you know choose spring or you know maybe lime or I could have chosen this, but I think it's actually easiest just to use the RGB sliders and turn the green all the way up to 255 and turn the blue and the red all the way down. So that's what I did. And the reason that I chose to do the screen color is that will always be enabled for that particular output. So that gives us uh, the advantage of not having to worry about um, it not being on the slides layer. Maybe the slides layer isn't enabled. Maybe you're using the media layer for something else. This is the most background of the layers. It's underneath the live video and the media layer. So it's a perfect layer to put the color on. So that's why I put that there. And that's step one. Step two, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. So I'm going to go over here to my audience output. It's got a nice chroma key green on it, and I'm going to click on that. And I have a solid background. You'll notice that I also have one that has a translucent background. I'm not going to use that because chroma key wants a specific color. And if I try to do translucent, this is not black. It's going to give me this dark green background. It's not going to be a translucent black. It's going to be a dark green. So I don't want that. I want it to be like this, where it's a solid background. Uh, I could also have put uh, a stroke on the letters if I wanted to. Either way, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want some way to separate the background from the foreground. So we're just going to get rid of this green. So now let's head over to the um, Yellow Box Pro and I'll show you what I did to get it to work over there. So let me actually I go full screen on the stage and that'll switch us over there. Okay, so here we are in my YOLO box pro. You can see my hand here. And uh, the first thing I did was I selected the video source here. And so I'm gonna click on that. 
and you'll notice that this shows up here. I could uh, crop it or I can do chroma key. Chroma key is what I want. See if I turn that off, we see the regular green. And I can change my color type here. If I do blue, notice it doesn't work because it's green. So that makes perfect sense. So go back to green and I can tweak the similarity here. So um, notice that as I do that, it kind of cuts in here. Let me pull it back here. Oops, sorry about that. And you see this line right here, this little outline. That's what I want to get rid of is I want to just continue to drag that along until the, that goes away. And same thing for smoothness is I can tweak that. It's less of an issue here because I've got pure green, but it is possible that if I was using a chroma key wall, you know, behind me for the keying, then that would uh, cause the problem. Background image, I'm going to leave this as it is because I don't want anything. And scale video source, I'm going to turn that all the way up because I want it full screen. Now you'll notice that it has instructions down here on what to do. And this is kind of counterintuitive. So I'm not going to show you what that looks like. Um, here, let me take this away. I didn't look and see that. See the video source scale. I can turn that up or down. I want that the full size. So I'm just handling that in ProPresenter. And here are your instructions. Um, we're going to, I'm just going to show you what those do, but if you wanted to pause and read through those, feel free. But now I'm going to click done and counterintuitively, what I need to do is I need to add a video source. So let me first see if I can just delete that video source so that I can show you how I did it. Click that, go to a picture in picture. I would have never guessed that, but that's the way you do it. And then next, and then you, so actually first select that. Okay, and then next, and then you need to, so the first one was the background, what is behind the uh, chroma key. And the second one is the chroma key foreground, the thing itself. So I click on that and now I click next. And you'll notice that that's down in the lower right hand corner there. Right, right there in the preview. And so what I need to do is I need to scale that up so that it's full screen. So I'm going to scale that up. Now we have another problem. It has a border around it. I don't like the border. So what I could do is I could just scroll that down and that's good. So now I click done. And now when I switch to that source, the PIP video source, it actually has that uh, like that. So here, let me go ahead and I'll bring it up. Notice I'm getting a little bit of video feedback there. Don't want that, but you will see the way that it does. So I could go ahead and I could add multiple video sources that are like this. So if I had two cameras, I've only got uh, two plugged in right now, but if I had if I had more than the two sources, one being my camera and the other one being my ProPresenter source, then I could uh, go ahead and put those in. So I could just repeat that a couple more times and then I could switch between cameras while keeping it on and then when I wanted to remove the uh, the overlay, I just switch to that source and see that that did it. So switching to that source turns it on, switching to that source turns it off, and so on. So I have the ability to turn on and off the key, switch between cameras, 
this is a really powerful little piece of gear that uh, the folks over at Yellow Box have made. And just so that you know, the just so that you know, for the last few months, I've been recording my tutorials on it. So uh, a while back, I did a little walkthrough of the Yellow Box Pro. And since then, I've been using that instead of my Blackmagic Video Assist to do my recording. And the advantage is it records a much smaller file. And so it makes editing a lot easier. It makes um, the fact that I'm uh, saving the source files, it makes it so I can save a lot more source files. Normally, I would have to record uh, change from time to time, and that's because the... Blackmagic Video Assist, it only records in ProRes 422LT as the smallest file format, whereas the Yellow Box Pro records in H.264, so it's a much smaller file size. So that's a couple of the things that I like about the Yellow Box Pro. Not only can you do the chroma key, but when you record it, then it records a much smaller file size and you can live stream all at the same time. So it's a very powerful piece of gear all in one small little package. So that's something that I really think that a lot of churches should at least consider if they're uh, maybe not, they don't have a super huge budget and they need kind of an all-in-one, then the Yellow Box Pro is a good choice for that. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Give me your name and email address, and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. <laughs>